Uh, so the first thing I would uh, delight to tell that the my interview was completely based and only based on the Python. Hi Prithvi, uh, uh, congratulations and uh, wonderful getting connected to you. So we're going to spend some time today to understand your uh, success story from being a student to a, a software professional. So firstly, congratulations on making it to your first company in your uh, career. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for the warm welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Prithvi, uh, so we'll uh, keep it uh, informal and uh, what I wanted to know from you is that uh, tell us a little bit about which company do you currently work in and what's your role there? Okay, so I am currently working in Futurance Technologies as a role of data engineer. Wonderful. So yeah. where, uh, where uh, we have been gone through trainings recently and we have been learned uh, so many tech stacks there also. Okay. which are currently in so much booming in the market so what what tech stack are you currently working on uh tech stack is supposed to be a uh, pi spark kafka um moreover uh, hadoop is there uh, amazon cloud and azure cloud is also there very nice so uh Prithi, we wanted to know a little bit about your journey what got you here so okay. uh, tell us a little bit about which college you're from and uh, what did you do on that is program and the platform okay for sure so uh, from start i would say i have done diploma after 10th so from there uh, i get admission into that second year in uh, by pule uh, pule pune university in college javantara sound college of engineering pune in the department of information technology where uh, we were of batch of uh, for diet second year it's around uh, 17 to 18 people so from journey of placement starts in the late third year ending uh, seems like in march or april so we were very confident about ourselves as we had a good uh, technicals in a diploma so but we first we faced uh, the exam was uh, uh, Infosys InfiDQ and we failed miserably like we don't even think about like we able to solve the simple problems but we were not able to catch that corner cases we were stuck there so none of the question get submitted there were I guess six questions are there and we are failed to uh, just not even a single question got submitted by us so then after we woke up from the uh, the dream of paradise to study hard again, revise everything, go through our uh, diploma notes, college notes, coding notes, uh, how to catch corner cases. Then after by seeing that failure, our college is also uh, connected with the edist, one of the best platform I would say. Uh, there we would learn uh, from basics python to solve problem solving skills uh, from in the platform we get uh, uh, like uh, questions for particular chapter i would say or particular um, algorithm we can say like for sliding window there are particular uh, eight to seven questions there so which are having different patterns like we don't have to code same code again and again but the logic behind the code is same so that uh, bring us to uh, uh, getting that corner cases which we had failed in first attempt. So that helped the uh, edist to solve that problem for us. Moreover, there is a leaderboard in the platform. I would say that encourages, it's like we were in the online mode now. So uh, we were not able to meet friends, but we can see our friends um, progressing in that leaderboard. Like same as in offline mode, we can see our friends are doing this, friends are learning things, they are able to do that things. So we get to know that things and whenever we stuck, we we can ask them also that how you solve that questions. Like peer learning is also there. There was also um, help support was also there. I don't particularly know what the name was. I forgot that name, but there so were mentors. Like yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 exactly. Uh, they helped me in uh, like LinkedIn, uh, link release problems. That was uh, like very good because they not just provided the answer, they provided uh, the resource from where I can study. They provided the logic behind it. 
So overall, it's the best one. I would say. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dude, one of the things which I can definitely vouch is that uh, uh, the platform provided you a lot of support, but you also worked very, very hard. So can you tell us and tell all your friends and juniors? Uh, what was your preparation uh, schedule? How did you start prepare? How many days uh, did you start before? How many hours in a day were you practicing? Something about your preparation schedule. So, as I said, we like failed in that InfiDQ exam. Then after our actual execution of planning and practicing coding and theoretical things started, like in uh, late uh, April, I guess. Then uh, we started like first we completed our uh, theoretical things like what is in a returns how how exactly we need to use why we use that things in like one or two weeks we completed that thing then we started with the coding which is like um, we were taking uh, questions one by one by particular topic there are video sections also there and uh, it is still uh, it is was taking uh, live sessions also there. So those were also helpful. And once the uh, session is completed, particular topic got taught to us. Then we used to solve uh, problems under that concept. And if we get stuck in the next session, we were able to get help for wherever we are stuck in or uh, which like one of the corner cases not we are not able to find out. So those help we got. So we were planned to um, it's like not hard and fast rule for every day, two hours, three hours, but it was like a completing a concept. And uh, if you can find that part, same concept, like question outside the platform also, we should able to code that. So we, we were looking at a uh, leaderboard in both the ways, like as a challenge also, and as a learning uh, motivation also. And and uh, Prithvi, uh, during your entire preparation on the EDEST program and platform, uh, were there other friends along with you who were also in the same uh, journey along with you? Yes, yes. We were around, I guess, uh, more than 30 people with same from same my class. And uh, are some of your other friends also placed in other companies? Yes, yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. And uh, uh, tell us a little bit about your interview experience. Uh, so what kind of rounds uh, were uh, there and how did you go about doing that? And how did Edist and the preparation which you had help in the interview rounds? Uh, so the first thing I would uh, delight to tell that the my interview was completely placed and only based on the Python. So as a data engineer, they are hard, like, hardly using other language and they are you were very stick to Python. So I learned Python in the edit. I learned Python uh, in my diploma, but that was like roughly only theoretical things. And I forgot those things when I come to end my uh, placement thing. So the edit got me that refresh on basics of Python. Like I didn't go into depth in first attempt, but edit got me into the depth, like solving graph problems using Pythons and uh, tree problems also there are different algorithms uh, those things help me to solve my python test so talking about uh, uh, placement rounds there was three rounds first ever said but actually taken four rounds so first round was about uh, two coding questions one is python and one SQL, sql question was there and uh, 20 mcqs on both like 20 on python 20 on sql so those were like a uh, mediate level, not much like basic one, but mediate level was the questions level. So I guess their criteria was something more than 60% we should score and then we get eligible for next. And I hopefully crop that left their uh, aid point. So I got into next round. Next round was about a technical round. Into that technical, uh, as I said, they were sent to be taking single technical round, but it was taken twice as first one was only based on Python, complete Python from beginner level Python to NumPy, uh, like libraries of Python, NumPy, Pandas, those things also they got into. So in that interview also, uh, as the it is taken online sessions, point to point, they were noting that uh, this is something like uh, an interviewer can play with you 
uh, remember those things and those exact things will be asked uh, was asked me to in the interview uh like a uh, list compression was there and uh another matrix thing was there and uh what uh the python uh function call happens uh, in different way than the java thing so that also we have been told uh, here a uh, uh, interviewer can play with you with, with that questions and you may get uh, the interview may get like good taste how depth you know about the python so i hopefully uh, fulfilled their uh, need of the python knowledge as a beginner as a fresher and they checked me as good to go for next round then in the next round yeah thank you in the next round it was about fully on sql so sql was based on um, like uh, they started itself from joins and then they ended up uh, something called uh, uh, window functions which we i were not aware about so at that point we i was not aware about those questions so they were they was like uh, it's okay to not have but you were be answering previous questions very well uh, because of the edis uh, guidance so they were like leveling up the questions and at the end they was saying yeah it's uh, good to don't know about those questions uh, because those are questions like a uh, four or five years experienced people are not even able to answer some so it's okay to uh, find with whatever you have told so they just passed me for next round next one was about hr where like normal questions were asked about background personal information uh, relocation questions as well as any other health issues are there so those questions were there and that's it and then i was onboarded for uh, online training and uh, today uh, you are currently going to the program you are undergoing the training program as well. no uh, i have completed training program in uh, april may itself okay and uh, now you are uh, on now i am yeah i am on project wonderful and you are currently working from home remote or? no no i am i am working from hyderabad but uh, if you had to give some piece of advice to your juniors to your friends who are also wanting to get into jobs uh, and they are also thinking about where should i start preparing how should i start what piece of advice would you want to give them mm, as in uh, advice or a suggestion i would say uh, start as much as early you can so that is the key factor like you will uh, feel like you are short on time at a uh, last moment of when you will get pressurized as your other friends in college are getting placed in good mnc's and you are not able to crack those things or uh, the pressure automatically gets built on your mind like i need to prepare i am not prepared why i am not prepared those things so start as early as possible second uh, yes. just self analyze uh, what you are doing every day like uh, if you are solving easy level questions from uh, from any platform just try medium level questions like one or two questions uh, every day so if you are able to solve medium level questions then try to level up just don't get comfortable in a particular level so you may feel like i am solving 500 questions but all the 500 questions were on the easy level but your friends are solving 200 questions but they are going in a upward direction like they are going to the hard level questions so not supposed to be expected as all the easy questions will be asked in the uh, interviews or on the technical rounds so level up the test as much as you can so it's like uh, if you not able to solve any hard question it's like fine you will get to know new concept into that that's how you will learn and you will remember like learning happens in a session but when you uh, apply that learning in your own code you will get like a uh, hands on practice into that and you will never forget that as well as you will easily able to explain in interview rounds and all those things so what you're telling is start early is one of the very important things which you're telling your <sighs> yes yes and and a lot of practice So yes practice practice like, in a vertical way yeah, yeah right. just just go into the comfortable straight line correct correct one yeah. 
Wonderful. And uh, now that uh, Prithi, uh, that's wonderful. And I just wanted to conclude this uh, uh, conversation asking, now that you got into your first job and uh, I'm sure you, this is the beginning of a very, very long career, successful career here and otherwise also, what are the other things, work or otherwise, what's on your bucket list, what's on your wish list that you want to do? Okay, so as a hobby i play guitar like as i'm in to that i'm also a beginner it's like a musical coding we can say and that i that logic i am still getting into me and other than that i always like to explore and travel around the like around nearby places i would uh roughly plan to travel india before 35 and then after i would like to explore the world also and uh, as the COVID says, uh, we should have a plan when we are 24 by 7 into homes. So for that, I have a hobby of playing online games and online uh, team building, community building. So that makes me happy when I'm alone or playing games. What kind of community building things are you doing? Uh, community building happens on the Discord servers where I can find like gamers community also there like coding community also there musical community also there like uh, hundreds of people learning new musical themes musical songs so they share their keynotes of the guitars and their songs so i am able to catch up that also by that we will learn things as well as we expand our network Wonderful, Prithi. Thank you very, very much. Very kind of you. Uh, uh, continue to uh, inspire other young people uh, like you to get into the jobs. And uh, and I'm sure where you are is because of a lot of hard work which you put in. And that goes without saying. Um, good mentors, good trainers, good platform. That we are always here as it is. But you should also take a lot of credit for working very hard. And uh, we wish you nothing but the very best. And uh, in case if there's an opportunity, we would love to meet you in person.